Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do the routing for WA Productions new VST called Chords. It's a great tool for generating chord progressions in real time. And I'm gonna show you the routing inside of Ableton Live 11. If you have a different DAW, the setup is gonna be a little bit different, but if you watch this, hopefully you have the right idea of what to look for inside of the manual or search for other videos on YouTube to how to do this sort of routing, having a MIDI generator trigger an instrument inside of your DAW. Inside of Ableton Live, I've got chords on a MIDI track. I need an instrument to trigger, and I'm gonna use the grand piano inside of Ableton Live. So I have two MIDI tracks now, one with chords, one with my instrument. It could be any instrument. I'm gonna come into where it says all ins inside of Ableton Live. That's in the IO or ins and outs. If you don't see that, it's over here in the bottom right. Where it says all ins, I wanna choose chords. And in the second drop down, you get pre-effects, post-effects, or chords. You wanna choose chords again. So it's just like chords here and then chords here. And then you wanna set the monitor to in. And if I play my timeline inside of Ableton Live now, And it's that quick and it's that easy to set up chords and get started generating chord progressions in real time in a fun and creative way inside of Ableton Live. I'm Joshua Casper with Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.